Welcome back to another video review. Today in the spotlight, it's the all new BT Meter BT570C from BT Meter. This is a clamp meter with a lot of cool features, including Bluetooth. Let's take a look. The BT570C was provided to us courtesy of BT Meter for this review. The BT Meter BT570C APP ships with this very nice case. Always nice when a meter ships with extra protection. Inside the case you have your basic instruction manual, all in English. Quite verbose, but barely nothing more than a piece of paper. However, you do get that scan code so you can download the Bluetooth software. You also get this set of leads. They are um, on the larger side and they actually have a pretty nice feel to them. They're rated at Cat 3, 1000 volts, 20 amps. Um, if we take a look at the tips, they're actually not really pointy at all. Um, I do like the fact that they are on the larger size, um, just because I just don't really like small test leads. But that being said, they are not um, made of anything Uber, such as silicon. No, it's just your basic PVC. That being said, the gauge does seem to be fairly decent quality. If you take a look at the end of the shroud, um, looks okay. Could be a little bit longer, perhaps, but um, there you go. You also get this thermocouple test temperature probe. And yeah, that's right, because this guy does temperature. And we'll take a look at that as well. Now this meter has a fair bit of heft to it, so that might not be to everybody's liking. Personally, I think this is a good thing. I really like the feel and the uh, solidity of this meter. It feels really good in the hand. So let's take a closer look at the features themselves. Starting off at the 12 o'clock position, we are in the off, and it only has the solitary off position. Volts AC-DC. DC volts, 1,000. AC volts, 750. Followed by resistance, capacitance, diode, and continuity. Frequency from 5 Hz to 5 MHz. Temperature in Celsius only. DC current up to 1000 amps. AC current up to 1000 amps. At the bottom we have a sub-select of ranges. We have the select switch range feature, the REL mode, and the frequency duty cycle. As well, there is a backlight button which you depress for two seconds and instantly you have what is actually a really, really nice backlight. Far left it is temperature, in the middle we have our common or negative, and on the far right we have the voltage and select range inputs. 4000 count BT meter BT570C has a few surprises and one of the nice ones for this uh, meter is the fact that it has Bluetooth capability. Download the Bluetooth app directly via the Google Play or the iOS store and away you go. We'll take a look at that as well. Now taking a closer look at the actual clamp itself. This is a rather nice size. Um, it's around 1.8 inches about 45 millimeters or so and really I can't see the clamp not being able to uh, put its jaws around just about anything you can throw at it. Good size, definitely. Um... Now the BT meter is definitely a man-sized meter. Now what do we mean by that exactly? Well I mean it's big. Well, okay, not that big. No, it's just a really good size. It feels mm, just really good in the hand. Compared to the last meter I uh, reviewed, this one definitely, for me at least, is spot on in terms of the actual handheld capability. I like the way it feels. The other thing I like is the clamp opening trigger. It takes a bit of pressure and it is solid. I really, really like the way these transformer clamps feel awesome. The function rotary switch as well has a really nice click feeling and I only only wish that the dial arrow was a different color. Another really nice feature is the fact that the backlight stays on permanently. That's right it stays on until you decide to turn it off. Speaking of backlights it's really really nice. Um, no dead spots, no bleeding, 
Um, all in all, just a really nice, crisp looking display. Alrighty, let's get this party started. Well, okay, it's not a party, but geez, we're having fun, right guys? We are in the DC accuracy testing mode and we're presently sitting at 250 millivolts. And that's exactly what we wanna see. Should be looking at 2.50 volts. Indeed, we do 2.502 volts. Alrighty, first off, it's resistance mode. Now, when you do hit that selector dial for the first time into the uh, multi-range settings, it will default to resistance first. We're gonna begin by relling out the leads. See if we have any resistance on these guys. Excellent, so uh, no need to rel there. We're gonna start off with a 22 mega ohm resistor. So we're showing around 23 mega ohm and uh, not too long to settle, good stuff. Let's try 8.5, 5%. Hey, spot on, excellent. Next up it's LED mode. Yes, we're gonna try out these five little guys and let's see if we can get some illumination in the nation. I've got the backlight on. Sorry, the uh, angle is not the greatest. Of course, being a clamp meter, there is no tilt stand on this guy, but um, I think we can see it pretty well. Okay, here we go. Without further ado, starting off with the green LED. And we have nothing. Okay, let's go to the yellow. Nothing. Let's go to the red. Still nothing. I'm just gonna reverse these, make sure it's not a polarity issue. No, it isn't. Wow. Okay, 0 for 3 right now. We're gonna go to the blue. Not too much confidence in this at this point. And finally the white. Oh boy. Absolutely nothing. Ugh. Wow. That is really there's the reason why we have such poor performance in the LED department. It's outputting a measly 1.50 volts. Just definitely not enough to do the job. Too bad. Next up is capacitance. Now this does have a very limited range for capacitance. Um, goes up to a whopping 100 microfarad. That is it. But let's test it nonetheless. Here we go with a 3.3 microfarad cap. And coming up is 2.88. Finally, we have a 0 0.01 capacitor and 10.3 nanofarad, so fairly close. Alrighty, it's continuity mode. One of my favorites. Starting off with the default stock probes first. Here we go. Wow, very scratchy. And I really have to apply a lot of pressure. So at least with the stock probes, eh, not too good. Oh yeah, it's pointy time. No, no, it's probe master time, that's right. Here we go, let's see if we can make things better. Definitely better. Still scratchy, um, interesting how the light uh, as well giving me a visual indicator of sorts as well. Still, I have to apply a lot of pressure. And don't forget, these are Probe Masters, one of the best. Uh, you know, eh, definitely not a, a Primo continuity meter, but much better with the Probe Masters at least. Seventy-six point nine decibels is the maximum output in continuity mode. BT meter also does temperature. Now it does it strictly in Celsius mode. There is no Fahrenheit capability with the BT570C. As you can see, it does do ambient temperature. No thermal couple or thermal probe required, unless you want to ta taste. How about <laughs> test something specific? Already right now we have the line splitter plugged in, ready to go, ready for some action with the BT meter clamp. And what we're gonna do now is utilize the line splitter to get a current draw from this space heater. What this is going to do is it separates the hot from the neutral and ground wires. So on a standard 120 volt outlet, um, current measurements can be made 
up with the current clamp. If we didn't utilize this line splitter, this right there, um, without that, what's gonna happen is the, the clamp is gonna measure the load current in both directions, effectively canceling out any test measurement. So that's why when you're utilizing a clamp, really good idea to pick up a line splitter at the same time. And what we're gonna do here is we've got a space heater, uh, one of these ceramic style, and we're gonna check out that amperage in both uh, low and maximum power mode. Okay, right now we are in current mode. We have it set to the uh, high current mode, the 1000 amp, and I am gonna turn on this ceramic heater. As you can see right now we have zero current draw. So let's turn on the heater on low and see what happens. 5.2 is the current draw and the low setting of this ceramic heater. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put it on maximum mode and we will see uh, how big of a difference that is. Here we go. Okay, now we are in high mode or maximum mode and you can see we've easily doubled that current draw. We're now pulling about fluctuating Let's see if we can uh... so it looks like we're sitting at around 11.8 close to 12 amps so effectively double the uh, current draw in maximum mode and I mean that pretty well stands to reason obviously if we go from low to high you are going to be doubling your workload so really nice when you can combine the clamp meter with the line splitter it can give you a really good gauge on your energy usage so if we convert watts and volts to amps um, if we do the math quickly let's see 1500 watts the voltage here in canada is 120 volts and the result of that is a current output of 12.5 amps or 12,500 milliamps and as you can see we are definitely very close to that so we know that this heater is running as per norm and everything is a go and one of the really nice things about the BT meter is the Bluetooth software the intelligent clamp meter Bluetooth software it's actually quite cool right now we have the uh, clamp uh, about oh 20 feet or so uh, out of the way and uh, we are gonna take measurements with the uh, Bluetooth module. So all you do is turn on the clamp meter. There is really literally plug and play, no plug and pray. It actually works and it works quite well. Now, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two things. We're gonna start a normal uh, testing mode and then we will go to something called a graph mode. And here at the bottom, you can see you have data, graph, and a few other variables. So right now we are in the normal mode and we're gonna start the test. As you can see, the clamp meter now is getting the uh, information relayed to the Bluetooth software, and that clamp is showing us a current output of around four and a half amps, and it is rising slowly. And right now, we are once again testing that space heater, um, and it is on the low setting. Now, what I'm going to do is turn us into graph mode, and the graph mode is really nice because it gives you a visual. Um, approach to data logging as well. So um, here now is when we were basically flatlined when the unit was turned off. Uh, the unit was on here, off, and then turned back on. Now we're in high power and you can see we're pulling in uh, twice the amps again. Uh, pushing 11 amps right now, showing up as oh, 10.7. The nice thing about the software is the fact that it really is uh, very simple to operate and you do have this sort of uh, data logging feature. Um, this is a, another one where it's giving you a, uh, an index of all of the uh, values uh, with a timeline. Um, can come in very handy once again. And uh, if we go into the graph mode here, you will get a trend over X amount of minutes. You can also save button at the top and it will save automatically to a storage path that it deems as appropriate. So, you know, really cool software, uh, something that, uh, you know, it's it, in this day and age, it's really nice when you have a meter that has that Bluetooth capability, because believe you me, it really can come in handy. And what I really like about the uh, 
BT meter software is the fact that it just works. There's no handshaking involved. There's no sort of complicated setup. Just download the app for your Bluetooth, Android or iOS device and away you go. High voltage test is next. We're gonna spike it with just over a thousand volts DC. Here we go. Alrighty, so we're hitting about 1100 volts. There is no audible alarm or high voltage warning of any sort. That being said, it is able to withstand the high voltage burst. Biggest issue I have with this meter is the fact that the rotary selector switch dial does not have a different color for the pointer. Yeah, it's really easy not to be able to see that when the lights get dim. So BT meter, if you're listening, and I know you are, please, Let's put some color coding on that arrow. Make our life so Here we are so taking easy. a look at the inside of the BT meter and oh, what a beautiful sight it is. God, I just love looking inside meters. And I know you do too. We're gonna start off at the bottom. And at the very bottom, we are gonna go below those input jacks because what do we have here? Aha, uh -huh. that is our Bluetooth module. That is the DA14580 Bluetooth Low Energy from Dialog Semiconductor. So that Bluetooth module is what feeds all of that amazing remote data to the uh, Bluetooth device of your choice. And the, uh, the DA14580, it's a very flexible uh, memory style architecture. Um, you can use it for all sorts of different custom apps. Low energy, um, and it does have 42 KB of onboard system SRAM, 84 KB of ROM, and 8 KB of retention SRAM. So it is a very robust little Bluetooth module. Going down the line here, we see those input jacks. They are of the split variety, but they are nicely supported on the back from the other side of the chassis. So we have lots of rigidity as far as the input jacks go. And the soldering job looks really, really nice. Nice big blobs. Um, I like what I see. Moving down the line here, we have our cobbed IC. And look at that one lonely PTC. And I believe that is on the voltage side. Of Over here, we have the uh, TL062. That's the dual low power op amp from Texas Instruments. If we take a closer look at that spring mechanism for the transformer clamps, wow, that is nice and solid. Heavy duty gauged steel there. I um, like it what I All see. in all, a really nice clean PCB. No flux residue, no um, bad solder or cold soldering joints. I really like what I'm seeing. Good job, BT Meter. Closing thoughts on the BT Meter BT570C-8BP. I like this guy. Yes, this is a very nice clamp meter. Doesn't cost a boatload of money, but it gets the job done. It has a very nice heft to it, solid feel. It's obviously well-built, well-designed clamp meter, and I appreciate that. It has a myriad of functionality. Yes, I wish that capacitance range was better than 100 microfarad. And oh, let's not forget that diode range. Too bad. Darn, I was so close, you know? And, oh, oh, if only the dial range was better. It just can't light up any LEDs. That's a real shame. But all that aside, this is a very well-designed, very well-made clamp meter, and it has both AC and DC functionality in the current clamp mode, and that is a big bonus. Let's not forget that backlight, which is up to you, the end user, to turn on or off as you see fit, and it has a really gorgeous LCD display. This is a true quality clamp meter, and I'm really glad I had a chance to review it. I'm gonna be giving the BT meter BT570C a solid 3.5 out of five stars. Thanks for watching this review, everybody. Keep those comments coming. I appreciate all the feedback. Anything you wanna know, drop me a line. Till the next time, keep on testing.